um, a very small haul but the other day myself and my beautiful friend from work popped into Guildford, well popped into Guildford, drove for two hours to get to Guildford to go and see her family and also to do a bit of Christmas shopping that turned into shopping for myself as shopping usually does. <laughs> so I thought I would just share with you the things that I picked up in Guildford. The first place we went was Mango and I picked up two things from there. Um, apologies for the fact that uh, I have worn this and it is covered in the fluff from the inside of my coat but it's this knitted um, long sleeved black dress. Really simple black dress, really hard to show actually. It's got like a v-neck at the front. You're not going to be able to see it very well. Um, like that. Hello. This was on sale for £10, down from £20, so I couldn't really resist it. Um, I wore this for work. I was planning to wear it as a dress, but it does come up quite short. So I, I wore it with black leggings, and it worked perfectly fine. And it's really, really warm and lovely. But yeah, like I said, £10. Couldn't really say no to that. They did it in other colours as well. I think they had it in a navy blue and a grey. I don't have a mango near me, like there isn't one in Cambridge, so otherwise I'd go and pick up the grey one and I really wish I had picked the grey one up, but oh well, excuse to go back I guess. Next I picked up this jumper which says selfie on it and then it also says um, a picture taken for your of yourself that is planned to be uploaded to Facebook, My World, whatever My World is, I'm not sure what that is or any other sort of social networking website and I couldn't resist it they also did it in a black with white writing but I much prefer the grey with black writing um, I wear too much black and I'm trying to get out of the habit of it she says after she has shown you a black dress and this was 19 99 which again I think is quite a bargain really it's not overly thick so you're gonna need something underneath it to keep you warm but with a pair of leggings or some nice jeans perfect casual outfit for maybe a Saturday or a Sunday when you're doing nothing. Then we went into Kiko. Now I hadn't heard of Kiko, it's a makeup brand if you don't know, um, before my friend came to start to work with us because we didn't have a Kiko in Cambridge however they are now building one and it opens next week and after seeing all the products that I brought while in Guildford I am so excited for it to open it's crazy the prices in Kiko are, are insanely good and I picked up three things for £11 so wow <laughs> um, so here's the bag just if you wanted to see it and the first thing I picked up was this eyeshadow I've been looking for a like champagne-y kind of coloured eyeshadow for a very long time. I find them really flattering, but I haven't found one that I've liked or has been the right shade until I found this one. I'm not too sure how well the colours are going to pick up on camera, but this is in the shade 201, and it's one of their, what's it called, a water eyeshadow, so you can use it wet or dry. Um, I've been using it dry, but it's perfect as like a base colour, it's so pretty, there's a slight bit of shimmer in it. It's a really subtle, pretty colour, and then to wear over the top of that, I got this, which is one of their colour spheres, and it's in the shade 03. And it's this gold shimmer, really. Again, really, really pretty. Oh, I just love it. It, it goes really well over 201. They're really, it's a really flattering colour on blue eyes. As I've said before, loving golds and browns at the moment. And I also picked up, which I haven't opened yet just a pink lip liner. I really want to try some of their lipsticks when they come out just to see how pigmented they are and how well they last because for the price it would be stupid not to try them. Came to £11.30 in total but the lip liner was £2.50. Water eyeshadow so this one was £4.90 and then the Sophia was £3.90. Like that's crazy to me. I have also been using one of their mascaras. I've got it here, this one. The Top Coat Curl Mascara, um, my friend picked this up for me after I complimented her on her eyelashes and I've been addicted to it, I've worn it ever since she gave it to me and so glad we're getting a Kiko because I'm going to have to replace it very very soon. My cousin and his fiance have just had a little baby boy um, and I couldn't resist picking up a couple of things for them. The first thing I actually picked up in Cambridge is from Zara which I'll show you first. I'm going to give these to them next week so by the time this video goes up they will already have them so it's okay because I don't know if Rose will watch the video. <laughs> if you do, hi! Um, so the first thing is this really cute little shirt. Rose is obsessed with bunny rabbits so I had to get something with a bunny rabbit on. This is from Zara Baby by the way. It's just really really cute, long sleeved, 
t-shirt I mean he can wear it with like a woolly jumper or something or I don't know over the top however she wants to but I just couldn't resist it it's so adorable and I'm a sucker for baby clothes and then the item that I picked up while I was in Guildford was from River Island and my cousin is obsessed with polar bears so I couldn't resist and it is this little jumper oh it's the wrong way around it's this little jumper with the polar bear on the front with a little party hat on too cute for words, couldn't resist it, had to buy it, so I did. The plan was to do Christmas shopping in Guildford, but that clearly failed, didn't it, because, yeah, I didn't really do any Christmas shopping. Let me know in the comments how your Christmas shopping is going. I am very, very behind and really need to go shopping. Yeah, not good. <laughs> I'll see you in my next video. Bye!